Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. I'm going to have to make this one kind of short and sweet. Um, it took about three hours to finally come up with the design and make it actually work. So before we begin, I actually tested out the reason why the missiles were losing fuel even though they were, the cross feed was disconnected. And it's actually someone mentioned it in uh, one of my videos that the RCS system regardless if it takes monopropellant or liquid fuel but the RCS system itself actually drains fuel from across the ship equally no matter what kind of cross feed uh, rules that you have going on it will completely ignore those rules and take fuel from anywhere and in the tests that I found out this was actually very true it didn't matter where the decoupler was. I even used an I-beam which has no fuel cross feed whatsoever and a rocket engine sucked up the fuel on one side but couldn't suck up the fuel on the other side of this I-beam. However, if you put RCS thrusters on there or the Vernor engine or Vernor thrusters or whatever, they will drink it across the board. It does not care at all. So that's the problem we have with our ships and I'll have to just figure something out later. Somebody suggested putting fuel lines from the ship into into the missiles or torpedoes so that's that might be something we'll find we'll figure it out anyway but there was uh, an idea that i had to make a type of best way to describe it it's like a flak missile or a shrapnel missile the missile would approach its target and then explode and a bunch of shrapnel would go everywhere like a shotgun effect this idea was to take down like incoming missiles or take down drones or smaller fighter craft i don't think it would be very effective against larger whole plated vessels but I could be wrong we we all know how dangerous fireworks are so maybe I'll test the weapon on a uh, larger craft later on but some of the designs I was working on at first was something that I've worked on before years ago which was like a uh, self-destructing missile that had I-beams inside of it that once the missile self-destructed the I-beams would go everywhere and at 400 meters per second could cause a lot of damage that was one idea but I noticed that it wasn't working very well you had to get right up to the target and even then the i-beams going at that speed hitting a smaller sturdier target and would just bounce off most of the time the other idea i had was to actually use robotic parts and i know how buggy robotic parts can be so i figured maybe if they opened up next to each other it would create a type of kraken missile that would wiggle and shake and eventually rip the entire thing in half and hopefully rip anything else in half that it came in contact with interestingly enough the first time I did that it did rip the drone apart but I'm thinking it was more of a glitch because the drone kind of stayed in this weird bizarre disfigured look not too sure how that happened there was another design where I was literally about to say F it I was already about two and a half hours in it was starting to get late the concept comes from one of the bombs that I built in my solar nations videos I mean it, it destroyed the target but it, it's just it was very clumsy and there really is no way in hell you would want to store this thing anywhere on a ship, let alone use it. I mean, it's it's still a concept, and maybe I'll find something for it later on, but not exactly what I was looking for. And then the final idea that I had was to actually use fireworks on a missile, but not like guns because that would turn it into a drone rather than a missile. But rather, using the Cal 1000, I would have it to where it would get close to the target and then in one keystroke, unleash everything in one shot. Like a massive, well, best way to describe it would be like a starburst or a burst of some kind. That was the idea anyway. It worked very well a couple of times, but there was plenty of times where it destroyed the missile before it destroyed the target. It was pretty, definitely made some very pretty effects, but definitely just still a concept an experimental concept nothing concrete or solid or anything of that nature yet anyway so that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel i'm sorry i haven't been able to get to your comments usually i i like them or i put a little heart next to them or even i respond but uh, it's been hectic lately and i've been very busy but i i am reading your comments when i have the time so if there's any ideas or things you want to say don't be afraid to comment below and I will do my best to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.